Hello and happy motivating money making magnificent Monday. <laughs> Monday. We are now on day 26 of 31 days of prayer. Our scripture today comes from Titus. It says three and two, but we're going to read three, one and two. Our spirit is the spirit of teachability and our lesson is a quality of meekness. Titus 3, 1 and 2 from the New International Version says, Saved in order to do good. Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. I'm having trouble getting the screenshot, so we're going to go ahead. It's Enduring Word, Titus 3, remember this. Remember good works. 1 through 2, remember to live obedient and kind lives. Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. Remind them in the grammar of the ancient Greek text, remind is in the present tense. Go on reminding, Titus was to constantly remind the Christians under his care to show proper respect and humility towards all people, particularly those in a position of authority. Knowing the sometimes difficult character of the people of Crete, as mentioned before in Titus 1 and 12, this command to be subject to rulers and authorities had special meaning. It is perhaps significant of the difference between Crete and the province of Asia as regards respect for law that in first timothy 2 1 and 3 reasons are given why we should pray for rulers while here the more elementary duty of obedience is enjoined that's by white ready for every good work if we simply focus on being subject to rulers and authorities it is easy to make the christian life passive titus should not allow this and also remind to be ready for every good work Speak evil of no one, peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. This is distinctively Christian kindness, coming not from simple good manners, but from knowing who we are and who others are in the heart of Jesus. And also verse 3 says, remember what you used to be, for we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived serve, serving various lusts and pleasures living in malice and envy hateful and hating one another the shows this shows why titus should remind them of the things mentioned in titus 3 1 and 2 remember remembering where we once were shows us that the falling nature is not so far from us and we need constant reminding to stay where we would be in the lord you need not suppose that it is hopeless to imagine that these wild Cretan folk could be reclaimed. We ourselves are a living proof of the power of God's grace. That's white. Remembering this work of God builds four things in us. First, gratitude for how God changed us. Second, humility as we see that it was his work that changed us. Third, kindness to others in the same place. And finally, faith that God can change those who are still in that place. Our prayer tonight is a prayer for a teachable heart and it's written by Scotty Smith. And it says, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. That's Proverbs 12 and 11. And it is said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. That's Hebrew, Hebrews, I'm sorry, 3 and 15. Dear Lord Jesus, scanning through the book of Proverbs recently, I noticed how many verses about, about staying teachable, receiving correction, and loving discipline I've underlined over the course of the years. I wish the sheer number of highlighted verses was an indication of how humble and non-defensive a man I am. But that's simply not the case. I can still get stubborn, shift blame, and make excuses with the best of them. So by the power of the Holy 
the by, so by the power of the gospel once again we want to own grieve and repent of pride defensiveness and a lack of teachability lord jesus help us to anticipate and welcome feedback back from our spouses about our attitude choices and excesses help us to hear your voice and things that our children may want to share with us about our shared past and the present state of our relationships Help us to spend time with friends, not just to have fun, but to pursue each other's hearts and to build each other up, even when that gets messy. Don't let us ignore concerns or corrections from mentors, protégés, neighbors, even angels you see in as Hebrews 13 and 2. Help us not just to read the Bible, but to have the Bible constantly reading us, exposing our sin and brokenness and revealing more and more and more the riches of the gospel. There's no way we'll make our home among the wise without having our heart at home in your mercy, grace, and peace. Lord Jesus, it's because you made yourself a no reputation, becoming sin for us that we don't have to live with insecurities or for the approval of people or for our own reputation. Because we're no longer guilty or condemned for our sin, we can live in the freedom of convictability, teachability, and humility. As we get older, increasingly free us from this way of life so very amen i pray in your great and gracious name amen